Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Recent developments within the German army signify a significant enhancement of its operational capabilities, particularly within its Special Forces Command, KSK. On April 9, 2024, the German army received four new AGF-2 reconnaissance and combat vehicles from the Dutch company Defensur, marking a pivotal moment in the modernization of its fleet. These vehicles, based on the robust Mammoth platform, represent the latest advancements in reconnaissance and combat capabilities tailored for challenging terrains and specialized operations. The Mammoth platform, developed by Defensure, serves as the foundation for the AGF-2 vehicles, boasting impressive specifications to support a wide array of missions. With a weight of 8.8 .8 tons, the Mammoth features exceptional crossing capabilities, including a ground clearance of 366 mm, a fording capability of 1000 mm, and a vertical step capacity of 425 mm. Powered by a multi-fuel six-cylinder diesel engine delivering 268 horsepower and 610 newton meters of torque, coupled with an eight-speed automatic transmission and four WD high-slash low-range driveline, the Mammoth ensures reliable performance in diverse terrains. Moreover, its maximum speed of 110 km per hour and operational range of 800 km make it a formidable asset for extended missions, further bolstered by its air transportability via C-130, A-400, C-17, and CH-47 aircraft. The AGF-2 vehicles represent a crucial upgrade over the AGF Serval, which has been in service since 2003 with the German Special Forces. Designed to meet the operational requirements specified by the Bundeswehr Acquisition, Information Technology, and In-Service Support BAAINBW, the AGF-2 vehicles are undergoing rigorous testing at the Military Technical Department for Land-Based Vehicle Systems, Pioneer, and Troop Technology WTD-41, in Trier, Germany. These tests encompass mobility assessments, weapon system integration, IT compatibility, and logistical support capabilities to ensure the vehicle's readiness for deployment. Featuring a 9-ton class platform with a payload capacity of approximately 3.5 tons, the AGF-2 vehicles offer enhanced protection, mobility, and versatility for the German Special Forces. Modular protection components counter ballistic and mine threats, while the drivetrain and four-wheel steering system provide exceptional off-road capabilities, crucial for operating in hostile environments. Two primary variants of the AGF-2 vehicle cater to the specific needs of the Special Forces Command, KSK. The standard AGF-2 model serves in direct reconnaissance and combat roles, while the AGF-2-UFK variant focuses on logistical support tasks, facilitating the transportation of personnel, materials, and ammunition. The AGF-2-UFK variant integrates communication and reconnaissance technologies, supporting command and control operations, and can be armed with various weapons, including a .50 caliber machine gun and automatic grenade launchers. Operational trials of the AGF-2-UFK vehicles are planned in diverse locations, including El Paso, USA, Panama, and Alaska, to evaluate their performance across different environmental conditions. These trials, conducted in collaboration with the KSK, demonstrate Germany's commitment to ensuring the effectiveness and adaptability of its special forces in various operational scenarios. The Commando Spezialkraft, KSK, has evolved into a highly proficient special forces unit within the German armed forces since its establishment in 1996. Drawing inspiration from renowned special operations units worldwide, the KSK has played a pivotal role in various international engagements, earning recognition from NATO and allied nations for its professionalism and effectiveness in complex missions. In conclusion, the acquisition of the AGF-2 reconnaissance and combat vehicles represents a significant milestone in the ongoing modernization efforts of the German Special Forces. By investing in cutting-edge technology and equipment, Germany reaffirms its commitment to maintaining a highly capable and adaptable force capable of meeting evolving security challenges at home and abroad. That's all for now, see you later.